Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the ratio of adenines and guanines to thymines and cytosines in one strand of the duplex DNA is 0 0.3. What is the ratio for the entire molecule? In order to solve this problem, you have to know uh, Chargaff's rule and two postulates. The first postulate is that uh, in double-stranded DNA number of adenines always equals to number of thymines because these two bases make uh, a pair and also number of guanines uh, equals to number of cytosines. And uh, let's find out what we have here. Uh, so let me rewrite this as a fraction. So we have uh, adenines plus guanines divided by thymines plus cytosines. And on one strand of the DNA, the ratio is 0 0.3. So what does it mean? For example, let me take uh, some um, sequence, random sequence, and let's say on one strand of the DNA, we have um, adenine, and guanine and guanine. So, and uh, our ratio uh, of this basis to this basis going to be 0 0.3. So if we take three bases, it can be adenine, adenine, guanine, it can be three adenines, three guanines. I just took random sequence. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect our calculations. So now uh, in order to get 0 0.3, we have to get um, 10 bases, which is going to be uh, whether thymine or cytosine. So let's say this is going to be thymine, cytosine, thymine, cytosine, thymine, cytosine, thymine, cytosine, and thymine, and cytosine. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now Take a look, we have uh, uh, three, three bases, which is adenine and guanine, and we have uh, 10 bases, which is thymine and cytosine, so 10. So on one strand of the uh, DNA, double-stranded DNA, we have ratio of adenines and guanines as three to 10 in order to get this ratio, again. Uh, 3 to 10 would give us ratio 0 0.3, right? And uh, now let's build another strand of the DNA. Uh, so what we are going to have, uh, according to Chargaff's rule, adenine by spur with thymine and guanine with cytosine. So on the other strand of the DNA, we are going to have thymine here, cytosine, and cytosine here. And uh, we're also going to have uh, adenine, guanine, adenine, guanine, adenine, guanine, adenine, guanine, adenine, and guanine here. Now pay attention, uh, on the uh, one strand of the DNA, we have three bases, which is adenine and guanine. And on the lower strand, we have 10 such uh, bases. So what we have, we have uh, 3 plus 10, which equals to 13 bases, which is adenine and guanine. And uh, we also have um, 3 bases on the lower strand of the double-stranded DNA, which is thymine and cytosine, and 10 on the top strand. So again, we have 3 plus 10. Again, we have 13. And the ratio, as you see, would be 1. 13 divided by 13 is going to be 1. So now uh, we can come to conclusion that a number of uh, purines and pyrimidines in double-stranded DNA 
the ratio always going to be one. But this is not the end of the video because I still think that you can be confused and I need to explain you uh, something else. Which basis we call purines and which we call pyrimidines, uh, it is easier. We call pyrimidine basis with one ring. And this is cytosine, uracil and thymine. And we call purine basis with two rings. It seems like very easy, but it's hard to memorize. So I have a mnemonic technique for you. And here is my technique that may help you on the exam. So take a look. Uh, you have to memorize uh, this small uh, table. Uh, C, U, T, and uh, G, and A here. So take a look. Uh, this is three bases. Uh, C, U, and T, which make one word cut. So these three bases stand for the bases uh, with one ring. One ring for all these three bases. And that means that other bases, which is guanine and adenine has two rings. So molecules that has two rings. And uh, this molecule that has only one ring. So cut, that means that uh, each base is made uh, of short version of the molecule, uh, so has one ring. This is mnemonic technique, this is not scientific explanation. So uh, now we have to memorize which bases we call, uh, by the way, uh, uh, uracil here uh, is, uh, as you know, in uh, double-stranded DNA, we have thymine, but in, um, for example, RNA, messenger RNA, thymine would be substituted with uracil. And these two bases are very, very similar. So uh, that's why we have here three bases and only two bases here. Because in RNA, uracil would be pair with uh, adenine instead of uh, thymine. Uh, which base pairs with adenine in double-stranded DNA. So now you know that these three bases is uh, has one ring, these two bases has two rings. So how now memorize which are purines, which are pyrimidines? And I also have a mnemonic technique for you. So purines is a short word that stands for these two bases, purines. So, um, you see two rings here and short word purines. Uh, and uh, actually, what you might expect that a long word pyrimidines would stand for the longer molecule, but this is um, not a straightforward logic. You have to memorize that long molecules has short name and uh, molecules uh, which uh, has only one ring, have a long word, which is uh, pyrimidines. So pyrimidines uh, which has uh, molecules, bases, which has only one ring, has longer name. And I also have one more uh, mnemonic technique for you. Uh, take a look. Bases, uh, cytosine and guanine look much more alike than bases, for example, uracil and adenine or thymine and adenine. And uh, this also would help you to memorize because cytosine and guanine look more alike we have three hydrogen bonds between these two bases and between thymine and adenine, we have two uh, hydrogen bonds and between uracil and adenine also have uh, two uh, hydrogen bonds. So this is also a mnemonic technique, uh, how to memorize how many hydrogen bonds we have between 
basis. Now uh, you have to understand also that because uh, purines always base pairs with pyrimidines, then uh, ratio of purines always uh, would e or number of purines always would equal to number of pyrimidines and ratio would be one to one. So for example, if we have, uh, let's say, um, 20 guanines, that means we would have 20 cytosines. If we would have, say, 25 adenines, we would have 25 zymines. So if we combine these two numbers and divide by these two numbers, which is going to be 45 divided by 45, we are going to get 1. So uh, now you understand that uh, if we divide number of purines by number of pyrimidines, we're always going to get 1. And the same is true if we divide pyrimidines by number of purines, we always would get 1. And now let's take a look here. So adenine and guanine, adenine and guanine are purines. So let me circle it with yellow color. So this is purines, purines. And zymine and cytosine uh, are pyrimidines. So let me circle this green color. So uh, this is pyrimidines. And that means that when we divide number of purines by number of pyrimidines, we divide uh, the, same, the same number with the same number. And the ratio always would be one. So let me again repeat postulates of the Chargaff's rule. So the first postulate that in double-stranded DNA, number of adenines would equal to zymines, number of guanines would equal to cytosines because this basis base pairs. And the second postulate would be that in double-stranded DNA, number of purines always would equal to number of pyrimidines. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.